In the previous videos in this segment, we defined a branch as a separate space that you can create for each design task or project assigned to you. We've discussed the simplest situation, which is when you start from the master tab, create a new branch for a new assignment, work on your files, and merge when you're finished. However, in many cases, designers will be working simultaneously in the same project, merging at different times, and you might even be collaborating on related tasks. So in this video, we'll cover how to think about branching in a team. The fundamental thing to understand when it comes to working alongside other team members in a project is how your branches relate to each other and to the master or main branch. Earlier, we stated that each new branch starts as an exact copy of its parent branch at the time when you create it. Let's break that down a little bit. If Darren creates a new branch off of the master branch to work on the sign-in user flows, his branch will start as a copy of the files on master until he starts making changes. If his teammate Mika creates a branch from master in a couple hours from now, her branch would also start out as a copy of the master files, so it would start out the same exact way that Darren's branch started. This diagram shows how the branches and master are related. Darren and Mika's branches are happening in parallel, and you can see that there aren't any lines connecting them, so nothing that they do in their files will impact each other right at this minute. However, both of their branches are connected to the master because Abstract tracks the changes in each branch to compare those changes to the master files. Now let's say that Mika makes some updates to the copy on the sign-in pages and merges her changes back into the master. There are two important pieces that happen at this point. First, when Mika merged her branch, she actually updated the master files because the changes she made in her branch became part of the master. Second, because Darren's branch is still connected to the master, there are now differences in the master files that Mika added and differences in Darren's files that he added. He'll have to check those differences to make sure nothing is conflicting and bring Mika's changes into his branch. This process works the same way whether you branch from the master or if you branch from someone else's branch, which is called parent and child branching. Let's take another look at our abstract workflow in full. Think of this as a timeline. Starting on the left, you have the master branch with all of its files in their current state. Antonio, in yellow, creates a branch to work on some design system updates. Before he finishes his work, Darren, in red, creates a new branch to work on the sign-in user flow updates. After Darren has worked on the sign-in flows for a while, Mika, in green, branches from Darren's branch to update the sign-in copywriting. When she starts her branch, instead of being a copy of the master files, it will be a copy of Darren's files at the time that she clicked the new branch button. All of these team's branches are happening in parallel. Now Antonio merges his design system updates into the master, so the master files have changed. Since Darren's branch is connected to the master, he'll have to check Antonio's changes and update his branch with the changes. Mika's branch is connected to its parent, which is Darren's branch in this case. So when Darren makes changes to his files, Mika will have to check those changes and bring them into her files. Finally, Mika can merge her changes to Darren's branch, and when Darren and Mika's work is combined, Darren can merge his branch to the master to update the master with the new user flows and updated sign-in copy. This is how the master and branches have cascading effects on each other. When you work in abstract, the overhead for managing all of the differences between files is taken away and you can just get to designing. You don't have to make duplicates of files and pass them around in order to work together on something. You can just branch from someone else's branch if you want to contribute to their ideas. And you can have far fewer meetings to discuss what changed because abstract will help you see what changes were made at each step. 